Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Psalm, Psalm 34, verse 13, and it says this, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. This is a psalm that throughout this psalm, David speaks to how we can be happy in the Lord by trusting in him. Verse 13 teaches us that we ought to control our tongue and, and be careful about the things that come out of our mouth. And throughout this psalm, he emphasizes how we are to live a God-centered life that is pleasing unto the Lord, and it is manifest in our daily behavior, how we interact with others. Verse 13 here focuses in on our tongue. We are to never speak evil or to lie. We are to speak the truth in love and never speak evil using profanity, deceiving or slandering others. For the fear of the Lord, it should affect our speech. When we walk, in fear before God, we guard our words. Now, there are other verses that encourage us not to speak evil and to be careful about what comes out of our mouth. We find in Psalm 141, verse 3, that says, set, set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the doors of my lips. Now, this is part of a prayer that David prayed, and we know that it is virtually impossible to control your tongue without the help of the Lord. And even with that, we still might slip up. Now, let me make a confession about something. Uh, I knew a man, what, as Paul would say, I knew a man, whether in the body or out of the body, God knows. And such a one wanted to do something special for a young couple that he knew. They were, they had birthday, believe it or not, they were born the exact same day uh, and they had turned 90, 92. And so they loved these, I think they're called frappes from McDonald's, this dessert. And so... <clears throat> This man, whether in the body or out of the body, I don't know, God knows, he wanted to do something special. So when he visited, he was on a visit. So when he went to, the, to visit them, he stopped by McDonald's and he picked up a few of these frappes to take to them. He was driving the car, car hit, was a manual. So it was hard for him to hold on to the frappes. And when he got to a stop, he almost made it to the house. He got to the stop sign and that dessert, it went choo. When he got it, it went all over the dash, all over the floorboard, all over his seats and everything. And, and before he could think about it, out of his mouth came these words that start with D. And he said it three times in a row as if he needed to rehearse it because he hadn't heard it come out of his mouth in such a long time. But nevertheless, it came out. And when he got to the house, uh, he had to clean up everything. Hoses goes the inside of his car down, take uh, the doormats out, let them dry out. He put the rest, rest of the dessert that was left in the trash can and he went in for the visit. And so when he got into the visit and he, he revealed to the couple what he had attempted to do to celebrate their birthday, they, um, they, uh, the lady that was there, she looked at him and she said, Charles, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to say his name. But anyway, she looked at him and asked him now, and just sweet as she could be. Now, when that happened, did you say a bad word? <laughs> and all he could do was confess and say, yes, ma'am, I did. Hmm. Even with that, even if we're not walking carefully day by day, moment by moment, and drenched in the things of God, we can, be, we can overcome. And things can come out of our mouth that ought not come out of our mouths. Proverbs uh, 13 and 3, it tells us that those who guard their mouths preserve life, but those who speak rashly come to ruin. The fear of the Lord causes us to speak according to God's character other than our sinful nature. Selah. Think about that. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day middle of the week. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> As we consider today's verse. Amen.